What's up, YouTube? Rose City Sports Cards, back with another card hunting video for you. We actually didn't get a chance to do much hunting in the wild this last week. Um, hasn't been a lot to hunt for. There's not any real close by Walmarts for me to check with every single day, so when I am in the neighborhood, I'll swing by there. Stopped by a couple times last week. You didn't see anything. Um, I think they're just putting it out random times, and um, it's hard to really kind of pinpoint when that might be. Um, I do check around on the phone to the booksellers, and they haven't really restocked much in the last week and a half, so haven't been able to make any runs out that way. But I was able to utilize the Target online resource. They've become a pretty much go-to thing last you know, few weeks. Um, they do the drops at 7 a.m. Eastern time. I'm on the West Coast, so I have to set my alarm for 345, get up, get online, you know, see if they're doing a drop that day. Um, seems like Tuesdays and Thursdays kind of have been the more frequent um, days of the week that they've done it in the last uh, few weeks. So, you know, if that helps, you guys can maybe, you know, try your luck in the morning time. But um, they've had red box exclusives on some of their more marquee items. The Prism Basketball um, is a red card exclusive. So if you have the card, you're able to get on there and get those. It seems to prevent the bots from eating up the product as soon as it drops. Um, and so that's that's a real big plus. These were a red card exclusive when I bought these a couple weeks ago. Um, Panini Contenders has one autograph per box on average. They also have Blaster Exclusive Gold Cracked Ice. Um, we get a chance for some really big hits in these. Premium Edition Green Shimmer autograph. Wow, that would be a nice looking card. And so I'm, I'm hoping to maybe pull a Trevor Lawrence autograph out of one of these. And so I went ahead and bought a bunch of them. I got five of the blaster boxes of the Contenders draft picks. And I'll be doing a product review on these, so you can check them out on Tuesday, see what you think of a blaster box. Um, after we do the giveaway for this month, this is the last video of July. So you'll have your choice of NBA hoops, five card packs, Donruss blaster, box packs or heritage mega box packs um have a good feeling that there will be someone who gets a real one autograph out of the mega box i've seen that they you know produce those at a pretty decent rate um so don't forget to hit the like button and let me know what you think of the products that we got card hunting this week for the giveaway question and you're welcome to go back and watch the previous videos throughout the month of july don't forget to hit the like button and answer the giveaway question for each of those videos that you want to enter into the giveaway. We'll be giving away 20 packs, one for each of the videos that we've done in the month of July. We always do the giveaway the following weekend after the end of the month, so stay tuned for our giveaway video next week where we'll be picking all of the winners. I wish you guys all the best of luck in the giveaway, and uh, you know, it's been a lot of fun interacting with you in the comments, and I really appreciate all the support. We also were able to get... Um, a couple extra boxes of Stadium Club, and I'm glad I did. After we did our review last week, I was very impressed with the Stadium Club this year, and I think it'll be nice to have those in our pack battles that we do every Wednesday. You know, keep those in there for, or keep them around for a while. I enjoy the parallels that you get out of those, and we pulled a gold minted rookie card out of our product review that we did last week. If you haven't caught that video, check it out. Stadium Club's pretty hot this year. We also got a Monster Box of Series 2, Tops Baseball, and I like those because you get extra cards. Um, there's 16 cards per pack instead of the 14 cards that they put in the Blaster Box packs. Um, if you compare the two, you know, the 14 card packs for Blasters, you get 7 packs per Blaster Box, and you get 16 cards per pack and 16 packs in a Monster Box. So the giant box gives you a couple extra packs and a couple extra cards per pack. Yeah, it just makes mathematical sense to do it that way. Moving on to an eBay purchase that we made. I really like the way this seller packaged his box. He used cardboard cutouts to use as wedges to keep the boxes all nice and tight in there. And uh, if you saw our Throwback Thursday retro rip that we did last night, you saw that we opened up the first pack from this box. It's 1993 Stadium Club. And I was really impressed with how the photography was really phenomenal. Even from the start, back in the early 90s when they brought Stadium Club out, that was their marquee kind of uh, claim to fame, their Kodak. Um, pictures, you know, that they used were 
kind of state of the art. And it's just a real nice looking product. Be glad to include these series one, two, and three um, in our retro rips that we do. The item that really drew me to this seller though was a 1996 factory sealed box of Clear Ultra. And I remember opening these back in the 90s. It's a really great set. It was a lot of fun rookies to collect from that particular draft class. They had Terrell Owens, Marvin Harrison, Keyshawn Johnson, I think Terrell Davis too, if I'm not mistaken, um, as well as a few others that I can't recall just off the top of my head. But for the Thursday, Throwback Thursday Retro Rips, these are going to be really, really fun to add to the pack lineup. And I'm excited about the pulls that we're going to get from those. So kind of in closing, um, I do just want to touch upon the Pick Your Pack giveaway um, that we'll be doing. As I said, you know, we'll have the giveaway video next week. And now that we have, um, you know, kind of seen the channel grow a bit, we're going to start kind of thinking ahead towards our next milestone giveaway that we do. Um, probably some more fat packs. We'll come up with some kind of a creative uh, uh, milestone break that Betsy and I can do together. Maybe we'll do a box battle or something of that nature. Um, It'd be fun to kind of plan that out for you guys. We're only at 115 at the moment, so we're kind of thinking ahead here for that. But um, just to let you know, we are kind of looking forward to doing some more creative giveaways for you on the milestones that we achieve for the channel. And I really look forward to that. We might tie it into uh, maybe add extra fat packs for the number of likes that we get on the, the giveaway video itself. Um, I do guys want you guys to remember to hit that like button because I noticed on the video we did yesterday for the retro rip, there's like 13 comments and only three like buttons. So I know that some of you have forgot to tap that, uh, you know, smash it for me. Um, it really helps to feed the algorithm and it'll get this video, all our videos pushed out to more people so that we can kind of see the channel grow um, and achieve some goals. But uh, in the meantime, we'll look forward to seeing you on Tuesday uh, for a product review. I think I'll go ahead and rip one of these for you guys to see if we can't pull a Trevor Lawrence autograph. One of those green shimmer uh, bad boys looks like you guys have some good luck in your card hunting and uh, hope you guys pull fire in your rips we'll see you soon rose city sports cards signing out